what do we mean when we say digital identity? So most people think uh, digital identity, and especially when we've been talking about this ourselves online, um, this is the image that springs to a lot of people's mind. Uh, it's the common sort of like, you know, NASCAR screen of like different logos that you see coming up or uh, on, on sign on. Often when we think about digital identity, people ask like, you know, how is it different from say using login with Facebook and login with Apple and so on. What that is actually doing is it's a, it's an act called authentication. Um, and in a sense, it's looking at like, who are you, which is getting the right sort of like username and password. And what are you allowed to do with it? But if you actually get down to the question, who are you and what does it really prove? Uh, Facebook login just proves that you've got an email address and you've been able to uh, click on that to, to log on online. And there's, there's a pretty famous saying on the internet, it's from a really old New Yorker cartoon, it's like on the internet, nobody knows you're a dog. Um, the second image is actually from uh, Facebook's developer conference or uh, when they were describing some of the aspects of like Facebook login they were doing. Um, and what's quite interesting, of course, if you saw the news yesterday is uh, all of like, you know, Facebook's infrastructure went down and they had a massive outage. Um, so fundamentally what th that is doing though, is that it's only saying you have a Facebook account and then I'm tying that Facebook account as an easy means of creating a username and a password. But if you go on to the next slide, what we then start like, you know, digging into is like, so if you had to go beyond just the fact that you have a Facebook account, how do you currently prove trustworthiness for a person online, to take a simple example, um, and the Basically, it often boils down to uh, send us some pictures, send us some PDF documents, and we'll see if they are trustworthy enough. We'll run our own checks to be able to then correlate that back perhaps to the organizations that issued it or some proxies of those organizations to understand if these documents are trustworthy enough. And if you go on to the next slide, what that brings us to is uh, you then come onto the idea or the concept of identity verification. And so identity verification, which is quite different from the idea of authentication and authorization is who are you really as a person or who are you really as a company? Um, and if you actually extend that out, it could apply to a whole bunch of other different um, non-human actors as well. But when you have the verification idea uh, it's it's not just who you who you are or what username and passwords do you know uh, but who you really are as a person